Why hello there anxious cynic back again continuing our beginner's guide in Minimator. So a little heads up here, I went ahead and changed the stone that we had in the last part to a dirt block that which we're going to use in a certain way in this tutorial. But we're going to focus on how to walk backwards in Minimator. So this is something I've been requested for a while. And again, I want to reiterate, this is not like a super duper animation tutorial channel. There are much better facts and information that you can get from someone who studies animation. We're just going to do like a basic little, uh, you know, foray into walking backwards in kind of a Minecraft style, you know, just a basic little backwards walking animation in the way that I would probably try to tackle to do it. But if you don't like it, you can always find your own way or find someone who's more versed in animation to give you better information on that. All right, so let's just go ahead and hop into it. So basically a backwards walk animation, in my opinion, would be very similar to a forwards walk animation, but you're kind of just tweaking a few things. So I've got the uh, little movement here. We're going to keep that for now because we may want to use that. Uh, in the future. So uh, we're just going to move on down here the timeline. We're going about a second in right there. I can't talk. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and select all of the parts here and make keyframes for this default position right up here, just like so. All right, so let's go ahead and save. And uh, let's say we want to go ahead and just get him walking backwards. So you may recall in a previous tutorial, we did the pose to pose animation, and that's basically how you do walk animations or walk cycles. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So let's just say we want our first pose to be one direction and the other one to be the other direction. So we're just going to select a leg. Just going to go and go ahead and get a very basic step step kind of look here and something like that. And uh, I think, you know, when you're walking backwards, you kind of are being a little bit more careful because you can't see behind you. So your movements aren't going to be quite as exaggerated as a forward motion. Let's just go ahead and make this one about negative 13. If I can hit the three, there we go. And, uh, just do something like that. Maybe we'll go ahead and just bring his head down like he's kind of looking down at the ground. Let's just say we're gonna kind of give him a bend forward. He's kind of being a little bit careful about how he's backing up. Now, of course, whoops. <laughs> now, of course, you can do this any way you want to. It really depends on what your character's trying to do while they're walking backwards. If you don't want him to be looking down, you can have him looking forward or leaning back or maybe even turn his head uh, backwards like he's trying to see behind him or something like that really is up to you whatever you're trying to do but we're just gonna go with this as an example here so uh, that's gonna be one pose he's uh, walking backwards and then we're just gonna copy these just like we showed in previous tutorials to the opposite leg opposite arm etc so I'll copy this one control V copy paste copy and paste. So then we get this motion here. And then we have to get the keyframes in between. So what we're going to do, I think basically what happens when you're trying to back up is like your leg would come forward and bend before it starts to go back in a sense. So right here on this leg, we're going to go ahead and have selected on this keyframe here. We're going to bend it and kind of bring it forward. So obviously that's a little bit much, the speed's there, but that's kind of the idea is like you bring your leg kind of up and then back. And uh, that's what we're going to try to go with there. And it kind of juts back like so. Uh, we may want to bring this, it either needs to go a little bit more forward or a little bit further back, but you're going to have that really like jutting back. So it kind of depends on the cycle here. If we could bring this out a little bit. Still a little bit too fast, but uh, I don't know. We'll kind of see how it goes. Maybe uh, this is a little bit too farther, too far forward. Let's just go ahead and go negative 15 on that. And then we'll also equalize this one by bringing it to negative 15. And uh, yeah. So you kind of get that motion there. Now, again, this may not be perfect, but this is just kind of a, a introduction to the concept. At least this is what I would kind of mess with if I were making a backwards walking animation. And uh, so like basically as the weight is on the right leg there, he's bringing this one up and then putting it backwards to catch his body weight as he's backing up, if that makes sense. So uh, what we're going to do is just go ahead and copy this one and then we're going to paste it here on this one as well. 
And since we move this one back a frame, because I kind of feel like this 11 keyframe motion here, because we want this to kind of be slightly longer here than here, this movement between these poses here. At least that's what I'm going with for now. So got to kind of keep in mind that that's how we're making things go. So uh, basically we have those set up that way and the arms are kind of doing their own thing. Let's go ahead and have this arm. Maybe we'll do both of them. It's gonna have them bent a little bit. You know, you kind of might have a slight uneasy pose when you're walking backwards. You don't really know exactly where your placement's going. Something like that. All right, so then do like that. We actually set that keyframe there like the arms gonna go out you could make it so that the arms are out on uh, these frames here as well let's go ahead and hold shift and select all those and well we can't do that let's go ahead and select both both of these here and then bring that out just a tad both of these here just a tad not too much and then maybe kind of flares out a bit more there I don't know. We'll see what that looks like. But we're kind of getting that motion there. And then basically, if this is what we wanted, if we're happy with this motion, then we should be able to copy this and paste it. And again, remember that this is going to be one frame longer than this one. So we got to make sure that those aren't even lengths. I think that might be about what we want. Paste. Something like that there. I'm not going to really try to count. We're just going to eyeball it here. And uh, let's see what that looks like. So you can kind of see there the, the way his legs are moving. It's a slight reversal of a forward walk cycle. So we can do something like that. And uh, let me go ahead and undo these pastes. And we're going to mess with the body just a tad here. So let's go ahead and save. And uh, we may want the body to kind of come forward at this position here. Something like that, maybe around here. Actually, we want the body, not the head. We got the head selected. All right, there we go, there's the body. Maybe we'll have it kind of come forward a little bit. So this was at one, and we'll bring this one just say 3.5, just to keep even numbers. Maybe we'll bring that one over here. Something very similar. We kind of offset this one a little bit and then come back to one. And uh, you can, of course, bring uh, the body over, like kind of tilt it just a tad. We'll go about 1.2 there for some reason. Then negative 1.2 here, I would think. And we'll have it be even there. And of course we can give it a little bit of a twist one way or the other. Let's just put like a two on that one. We'll do a negative two here. Doesn't look too terrible. And uh, we could mess with the head, but I think you get the idea here. So we're just gonna go ahead and select all these, copy, paste, and uh, just get a little bit of a animation going here with this walk cycle. Something like that. I think that's about where we want it. So basically, you get that walk cycle there. And we don't have any transitions applied or anything. This is all just linear. And uh, there's your little backwards walk cycle. So let's go ahead and say, just so this timing is the way we want it to be, I'm going to go ahead and have that. Probably We can probably leave that. It's all going about the same speed, I think. So we'll just go like so. We'll just drag this out. And uh, let's go ahead and make him step backwards a bit. And that doesn't look too bad there. Let's go ahead and watch this. So there's Steve. Dang old walking backwards, man. Just like you might would want him to. And uh, let's just see if we can go ahead and make him stop real quick. So let's just copy and paste this one. And we're just going to... Try to even out. We're going to go ahead and remove some of these keyframes. Delete. I'm going to bring this one in. And we'll just go ahead and set all these keyframes. We're going to highlight all of them. And we're just going to 
do like so and see what this looks like. Not too bad, not too bad. And then we can go ahead and take the head, keep it looking down if we want. Or we can actually delete that and just have the head stay in that position. There we go. All right, so there he is, he's walking backwards. And let's do a little bonus tip on this tutorial here. And uh, we'll continue where we left off with the last one, the last tutorial. And uh, let me go ahead and make this cube invisible. So let's just say we want Steve to be building a, uh, a bridge for himself. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the grid on here, bring this down a block since everything's even, just like we left off in the last part. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna drag these over just so we don't lose our keyframes here. And uh, we're gonna take these here, I'm gonna copy and paste, something like that. And uh, I'm not sure exactly what timing we want here. I'm just gonna kind of line these up for the moment, just so we can see what we're working with here. And let's watch them. So there we go. I'm actually gonna apply a transition to these just to see if we can make it look a little better. Don't know, we'll find out. Boop, put that there. Still pretty terrible, but uh, maybe we can uh, grab these, the last keyframe of each little swing there and drag it out. So it's just a little bit, a little bit smoother motion when his arm goes down. All right, we'll do something like that. And uh, now what we're gonna do with this, this block here, we actually set the wrong keyframe there. Let's go ahead and do like so. So obviously it looks kind of uh, weird here with him putting a block down when he doesn't have anything to walk on but you can kind of imagine you're doing like a little bridge thing here so uh let's just say we're gonna do that and with the grid on as you can see here we have the grid ticked on we're just gonna have this appear right about there and then we're gonna do like we did before we're gonna duplicate this and apparent it and then we're gonna select all these keyframes here and we're gonna just even out the, uh, the position there. We're gonna grab this one, drag it over here, and then we're gonna line this up with the same keyframe on that one. So now, with the same principle we used in the last tutorial about placing blocks, we're gonna combine this backwards walk cycle with that same little motion there and the same timing and the same you know visibility thing that we did. And we're just gonna play this And uh, as you can see there, this is kind of happening a little bit too quick, maybe. Uh, you know, you need to time it up. We're just kind of throwing this together for the sake of the tutorial here. You would want to time that up. Maybe he's not placing quite as many and as quite as frequently. Stuff like that, because it's kind of going behind him, of course. But uh, we could easily fix that, just to get rid of some of these and... Uh, wait for him to get to that position before he swings his arm and stuff like that. But I'm not going to worry about fixing it for this because I think you guys get the idea. Hopefully you do anyway. Don't hold it against me. Anyway, that's going to be it for this tutorial. I hope you guys learned something. I hope it was helpful. Hope you uh, like the result here. It looks promising or something or at least inspires you to create something better. If it was, if you did, feel free to hit that like button, comment and subscribe to become a citizen today. Share with your friends, your family, your pets, and I'll see you guys in the next video.